just bought a Jewish Talmud. <laughs> so we can dive into that. Brooke thinks that there's some crossover, so we're going to get no, to the bottom of that. we share the first testament. The Old Testament. The Old Testament. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know? Do we share the first testament? I think the, so. The yeah, initial, I'm, the, I'm paused. The initial testy is, is similar. That's the only thing I remember from Christian school when I was a kid. I think there's crossover. Yeah. 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 Marvel DC. Well, I think then when Jesus, Jesus was came, a Jew. I think then it splits. Well, this is a conversation for a different for, day, I okay. guess. We can um, ask Jack. Are we are we rolling? Hey guys. <laughs> hey Brooke. Hi Connor. Are you ready to M A P? I'm ready to P. Ignorance is bliss. I'm living in a world of my own and it's awesome. Oh, I thought I was responsible for 9-11 when I was five. Where were you? In Pennsylvania. Touch grass, might I suggest. We're just going to dive right in today. It's us, Brooke and Connor. We were just having an enlightening discussion about religion, and mm-hmm. then you guys shut up. But welcome back to BNC MAP. We're so stoked to be back today. Right? Y- you could say that. I yeah. think I... I am. I think I speak for both of us when yeah. I say we're stoked to be back. Today. Truly. And the most exciting part of us being back today is that we're not alone. Um, we have a super exciting guest joining us today. And please give it up for Jack Wright. Woo! So you're just going to walk through the He's door? Walk through that door? Uh, yes, yeah. Jack! <laughs> hey! We're so excited to have you. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Dude. Everyone. I know. You know. It's been so long. Connor has something he wants to say to you. Tell him you like his hair. Oh, I love your hair. Mm-hmm. Your hair looks amazing. Did you get a haircut? Wait, hang on. Let me get a full 360. You got a haircut. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, wait. Sorry. Do I have to talk into the mic? Because it is a podcast, no, I'm it's so pretty sorry. dependent on sound. I totally forgot. No worry. It's hard um, for me to do that yeah, as well. No, it's hard to hold it it's, up. It's almost impossible, but. Let me wait. see that hair. Yeah, do a little 360. Oh, right. damn. What would you the call that? It's like a little soft mullet. Right? Soft mullet. Yeah. I think I had a mullet at one point in my life Ooh. as well, but it did not look as good. You should get another one. As it looks on you. I don't think it's the it's the style for me, <laughs> but it is the style for you. Oh, thank you. And I love it. Thank you so yeah. much. Not many people can do that. I feel like you would have an Australian accent with that haircut. Oh, right. But I just need like the little stash, you know? Man. Yeah. I shaved mine this morning. Really? I was having yeah. a little bit of an identity crisis this week. That's okay. So, and like... Mm-hmm. You know, my roommate was like, maybe grow out the mustache this week. And I was like, it's grown out. <laughs> Dude, Your skin's like glowing right now. Thank you. Yeah. That's Did awesome. Did you also get a haircut? I got a haircut as well. Wow. Yeah, speaking well, yeah. of the identity crisis. Um, so I was going to I was gonna tell this story. So I go to get this haircut because it was getting like a little bit mm-hmm. helmety. You know, when you, I don't know if your hair gets like this, but when I shower, it gets like if I fell down a flight of stairs, my hair gets so thick that I yeah. would be fine. Like kind of mm-hmm. growing out? It grows out. Instead and of down? Grow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I go in and I go to this place, the same place for the last couple of haircuts, and um, I sit down with this woman and I go, I want to like get it thinned out. I don't want to cut any length off. And she goes, <sighs> puts the scissors down. I go, this bitch is about to, you know... <sighs> <laughs> it's about to be everybody's mm-hmm. problem that she went to whatever haircuts. <laughs> and she goes, so here's the deal. I was like, there's no way this is real. There's no such thing as thinning your hair out. And I go, I have said that exact sentence every time I've gotten a haircut forward my whole life since I've been going by myself. Um, so there is a way that yeah. that's possible. And she goes, no, it's actually just like spreading out the density of your hair. Okay. So, right. but when you do that, blah, blah, blah. So anyways she's talking my head off and it's funny because the time before this time being there i had a woman who the 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 barbershop is like backed up to a pretty busy street and it has like garage door style windows they go floor to ceiling and i was talking i was actually not talking to the first woman she was completely silent i go i'm gonna break the ice what i said next was not something that like is something to say to someone that's going to be standing over your head for the next like half hour with a pair of scissors with a pair of, i go you ever think about a car just barreling through that huge window and she was like no <laughs> and then it was quiet the whole rest of the time until i checked out 
And finally, this woman who is talking my ear off, telling me she loves Reddit and stuff. I Wait, there's another woman? This is the new woman. The okay. first woman was the one that didn't talk. I'm going to tell this woman, last time I was here, I was like, it's refreshing to have someone that's talking so much because last time I was here, the woman did not talk. And I go, well, you want to know what I told the woman last last time to, so I could break the ice? And I told her that story. And she goes, puts the scissors down again. That's an intrusive thought. I go, no shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and she goes, I have intrusive thoughts all the time. And I go, that's uh, what kind? Yeah, join the club. She goes, I, this is brutal what I'm about to say. So just heads up. She goes, sometimes I think about if someone like broke in here, like maybe I would just like stab myself with the scissors to distract them, to throw them off. But then I'm like, I don't want to stab myself in front of customers. So maybe I would stab myself in the bathroom and then come out all bloody. <laughs> and I'm like, I think that this is a good length, how <laughs> this is. Now, I think I, I can go now. I can go home. Um, and so that was my experience. And it was an hour-long haircut because she went through every Reddit thread that she's a part of, which wow. is alarming. People like that should be on a watch list and shouldn't be around blades. Do you think she's been on the <laughs> BNC MAP Reddit thread? She she does not have social media. Oh, perfect. And I said, I don't either, just yeah. in case she were to <laughs> download after I left. Right. Wait, that's so cute, though, that she, like, wanted to like relate with you she though. did want to relate yeah with me uh and i'm pretty good at being a chameleon and being like that is incredible that's so funny yeah. mm -hmm. You're like that same. you were gonna <laughs> off yourself in front of all the customers as a distraction so that i don't even know what what the end goal she was that was. i that. mean it's called being prepared yeah i always think about that but i think i would just play dead she also told me when she was a child i just remember this that she asked her mom um watching a murder mo mystery movie why the murderer would kill someone they know instead of someone they don't know when she was eight right immediately <laughs> she was able watch to watch list <laughs> watch list we need to be watch listing so many more people than we are um Very jack true. special thing about this podcast is we always get comments when we have guests on saying why don't you guys let the guests talk? <laughs> well, it's our podcast, so that's why. No, so. I, I love listening. You guys are so funny. I love like this little interaction. You're so funny. You. Oh my God, and no. we love you. And speaking of you, yeah. by the way, what's up? How are you? Pretty good. Good? Yes. That's I mean, awesome. Thank you. How yeah. are you? I'm doing fine. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I first met you guys at the, was it the... AMAs. The AMAs. AMAs that's what yeah. It was. yeah. That was really fun. That was really fun. That Did was you a have blast. Fun? So much fun. But I, I was still like, have um your name tag. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's in my purse. Oh yeah. Can you keep it forever? I, and I will. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um yeah, that was like I had a lot of fun with you guys. And that I'm, was a we blast. We had a blast with yeah. you. No. We lucked out and we sat like right next to each other. But you've been all over the place. We got that was our one thing we got invited to, and that was awesome. Thank yeah. you to whoever runs the invites <laughs> over there. Loved it. I uh, would love blast. to go. Would love to go to another thing. If at all possible. This year. No worries if not, though. Um, Jack's Here's been Jack's been at every one of We could even tag along. <laughs> okay. Behind Jack. Here's a question <laughs> for you. Guys. Were you actually at the Met Gala? No. <laughs> okay, that was confusing. Wait, what did you see? There was a, He had a TikTok, or was it an Instagram or a TikTok? It was a TikTok. A TikTok. It was, a, it was both. I did it on my story, too. A full photo of him there that I guess now was Photoshopped, but I couldn't tell in the moment. <laughs> like it looked like he was at the Met Gala and I would have believed really? it because you're super, well, you're a star. Oh, thank of you. Course, oh my God, stop. And you're super into fashion, right? Yes, I love fashion. But no, I, yeah, my friend like photoshopped the photo on Bella Ramsey's. Um, oh, so that wasn't body. even your body. No. <laughs> Can I get oh. a visual? I'm not, I'm not able to relate to this conversation at all. I haven't been on TikTok in like a couple months. Oh my God. Let's um, see. It is the one, two, three, four, five. It's the one with like the, my, like half of my face. Yeah, that one. Can't believe this dream has finally come true. Thanks, y'all, for everything. This is so officially honest. my first <laughs> Met Gala. That's my caption, I, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, tell me that's not. Oh, that's Bella Ramsey. But I did see this. I okay. really thought that was you. <laughs> uh, Jack, I could just like honestly see you wearing this today. Thank, I really like the fit. Honestly. Maybe we can get them yeah. to send you one. Yeah, and please. me one as well, actually. Yeah. Right. Um, do you guys have connects with like Bella Ramsey or at this time? Not really. I'm okay. sure because you just spoke about it. Something's going to happen this week. We have okay, the weirdest but... thing. Oh. We have the weirdest thing in this space where we will say something even adjacent to something absolutely bizarre. And it happens every single damn time. 
So if you have anything that you want to speak into existence, really? yeah, you can like manifest on this. Yeah, yeah. No, Thank it's. You. Thank you. It's powerful. Um, Do you have anything you can think about it too? Hmm. Because I think I did something pretty, pretty intense recently. Ooh, can you tell me? Like I want to know. Yeah. Um. I I'm not saying I'm solely responsible, but I think I manifested Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy getting together. <laughs> okay, let's buckle I up said, for the comments I said on this word, one. I said word for word right after she broke up with Joe yeah. that I think Taylor Swift is going to start dating Maddie Healy uh, in this space. I said it. And then what do you know? What, what happened, Jack? They got together. They got together. Yeah. Wait, that's you scary. Well, let's, yeah. let's play the clip. Well, roll you, the clip. You need to be careful what you say. And you really need to be careful. Yeah. Man, this was like recently. Taylor. The Taylor that I know mm -hmm. was taken aback and needed some rest after that breakup to to gather herself. Okay, so That's, you're thinking it was way before the tour. I don't started, think maybe not way before, but, but I, before. Do, I do think it was before, and I think that she has been in a relationship for a for a minute, for a hot minute. I've heard theories that she's going to start dating Maddie Healy. No, Bo Burnham. <laughs> no. Like somebody Whoa. in that group. No, Paul <laughs> Mescal. No, like I've heard like people saying <laughs> she's going to gravitate towards. I that. could see her doing something. Where she's photographed. With Is that people. all I said? Wait. I thought I was. I thought I was more in adamant than that. But still, I mean, no, I said was, it. That was weird. That like, was weird. Yeah. I guess only stuff Brooke says happens. Yeah. That's not true. <laughs> You've manifested tons of things. Like what? I don't actually know off the top of my head, but I feel like you have. Like a panic attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or throwing up. I'm like I'm about to throw up, and then sure enough, ten minutes later, I throw right. Well, you can try today as well, but yeah, so I did, I did maybe talk that into existence a little bit. Good luck in the well, fighting for your life. Yeah. Well, I'm throwing myself. I'm a big, um, 1975 Maddie Healy fan. So it was mm. like a little bit of a tough nut yeah. to swallow. Gotcha. Um, and I did get word that they were together a few weeks before okay. it became public and well, then, I'm sorry. What? Oh, I'm sorry that like. That's okay. Yeah. No, totally fine. I had that time to kind of. Yeah. Process away Definitely. from, you know, the headline of it. And it was like your fault. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Totally my fault. And then I like posted an Instagram story once the headline came out and I was like, I've known for a few weeks from a friend, like had time to process, like nothing else to say. The Taylor Swift community like came for my life because. <laughs> I think that they thought that I was close personal friends with either Taylor or Maddie and was like revealing some sort of like secret that they had <laughs> entrusted in me. So now I'm um, wearing my Swifty necklace because I'm I'm full sending like so I'm supporting this couple with my whole life because fake it till you make it, you know, <laughs> and I love them. So I do, I love them. Well, Maddie Healy's mom follows you on Instagram. Yes. And for what? What, I don't know what reason and I don't how know did she get there? I don't, what? I don't yeah. know. She's my most so then they start, prized possession. They start digging and they're like, wait, they called her by her first name. Denise. Denise. Why is Denise following Brooke Averick? <laughs> who the fuck is Brooke Averick? Every now and then it begs the question, mm -hmm. who the fuck is Brooke Averick? Mm -hmm. Once you see Denise is involved. Yeah. So I've got nothing but positive things to say, truly. Wait, you made it. Yeah. yeah. You made it. Oh. I said in a, like a really bizarre backwards way. You kind of ended up being Maddie Healy's ex. People did think that, <laughs> which was super. You like reverse engineered <laughs> super exciting having dated him in the past. Yeah, that's what everyone believed. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, love. I forgot. Love it. Uh, I love it. I love it. Coming in hot with an ad. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Some would argue that's the most valuable of all of those mm -hmm. three is your time. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With members areas, you can unlock new revenue streams for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. With Squarespace, you can also create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app lets you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. On the Video Studio app, they make editing a lot easier because they have like templates. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of a template? I cool. I have. Uh, well, they help you through the video process depending on the type of video that you're trying to make. 
I definitely enjoy using oh, like a little bit of a template. Oh, I know. You're, te <laughs> I'm you're a template, template guy. guy. Anyways, stand out. I was saying that um, stand out, out. You, you can and stand you will, out of the crowd and you, you feel do because you're a template it. guy. Stand right. out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template. So you, by the way. Love templates. And customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every send. You can also display posts from your social profiles on your website. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. And they will. Check out squarespace.com slash BNC for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code BANDC to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash BNC for a free trial and use offer code BANDC to save 10% off your first website or domain. So Jack. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And Jack. Our no. guest on the oh, podcast yes. today. No. Pole vaulting. Pole vaulting. Tell us about yes. it. So I used to pole vault in high yeah. school. Yeah, and you almost went to the Junior Olympics for pole vaulting. I did go, to the, did go to the Junior Olympics. He did go to the Junior Olympics. Now shut yes. up. Yes, thank you. What? How if old are you? I want to really quickly would... say about he... the Junior Olympics okay. that you if I ever, say something. No <laughs> if I stepped foot at the Junior Olympics, I would have a shirt that says, I've been to the Junior Olympics. <laughs> so I can't imagine being a contestant in that space. I, we'd oh, never, that you. would be my whole I thing. I you'd do it. No. Oh. I can't even catch a, a ball if you threw it to me. <laughs> Is that you? No way. That is me, yes. Jack, walk us through, I guess, like how you found pole vaulting, what mm -hmm. exactly pole vaulting is, what you're kind of doing there, how it all works from, yeah. for someone that, pretend someone has no idea. Got you. Like what pole vaulting is. It's such an interesting sport. I still don't know like, like what it is and like why I did mission. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, when we brought it. Um, But, I started doing it because like it was kind of like the perfect sport for me because I'm like I love like you know like the daredevil like type stuff I love oh. like the adrenaline rush and the, like this is the perfect sport to get all that out um yeah do you want should we watch the video yeah let's watch I this video oh, I need to see the dynamics of this whole thing I just keep picturing Brooke getting to the highest point of the pole and then her body flying into space I was just about <laughs> to ask are there a lot of pole vaulting related Injuries, yes, like definitely. flying yeah. type of injuries. <laughs> yeah, like flying and leaving. Have you had one of those? Definitely. What happened? Or like the the pole snapped before. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. And I landed on my neck, and then um, there's been many times where like I went backwards instead of forwards. What but, happened when you landed on your neck? Um, I like tweaked it, but I was fine. But you could have like really broken it. Oh, huh? definitely. Yeah. Wow. But it's like. It's really not, I don't know. I really didn't get like that bad of injuries at all from, That's good. from it. But it was like it was very fun. Yeah, I was saying yesterday, I don't understand how we, I'm not discrediting pole vaulting. I'm just confused how we came to find it. No, I Especially totally as an Olympic sport. <laughs> I and then I said, well, you wouldn't really need to ever use a pole to get over something really high. And then I was like, wait. You wouldn't need to kick a ball back and You forth. would never need to play soccer. So yeah. True. Or basketball. Yeah. Now, then you when you put it in that, frame it as that, this is a utility sport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you ever needed to jump over or onto a roof and you didn't have a ladder, there's a pole over there. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. I Everybody think it was like pole. to, it was like to get to a different, I think it was like rice paddy or like, you know how like they, yeah. they jump over like rivers to like get to like oh. different. Oh. Look at them. Like, it was, so it's evolution. Yeah based we are always talking about yeah. evolution mm -hmm. in this space mm -hmm. definitely it was like i was like, meant to do this yeah yeah this Wait, is can we watch the video of jack yeah evolution based sport whoa jeez <gasps> very good jack <laughs> that's awesome Thank you. now Thanks, yeah. at my school pole vaulting or high school pole vaulting was part of track is yes. that like typical yes why Cause you run Cause it's like it's it's like it's like an event. It's like a one like high jump or long jump or triple jump, and then there's pole vault. But pole vault is like it's like its own community, you know. And all pole vaulters are very. I love pole vaulters, but like I think all of us were just very odd, you know. So is it kind of like if you do theater, like you have the cast and you have stage crew? Yeah, and there's or like pole the, vaulters kind of like yeah, the stage it's crew, like the pole vault kids, you know, pole vault kids, like yeah. stay away from the pole. Totally. Vault kids. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, but they're 
<laughs> yeah, very, very odd. But like, I think, I don't know. I loved like the pole vault kids. They're always yeah. like, very my type of people. Do Are there pole vaulting adults? I would adults? love to dive into that Sorry. further. But are I there don't... pole vaulting adults? Um, There are, yeah. The regular Olympics. Yes. Okay. I didn't know if it was just a junior sport. <laughs> the adult the adult size Olympics has pole vaulting, right? What's that? The let's see who my first I'm caller sorry. is today. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Don't recognize the number, but it's not spam. Yeah, I don't want to it. because I've been kind of ghosting a lot of people recently. Okay. Oh, and you don't have a lot of numbers saved, so that no. could be someone that you've ghosted. And it's someone from Anaheim, which is oh, around nearby. Here. Could be dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Totally. I'll check in about ten seconds when it goes to Voicemail. Voicemail. Hey, sorry, I missed your call. I was waiting for my phone to stop ringing. Yeah. Got you. It's like do you have like? Do you have anxiety from like answering texts and call? Because I have like very bad anxiety from like answering people for some reason. Yes. Like I. One hundred percent. Yeah. I don't know why. Like very very bad. From not answering people or from answering people? No, it's like uh, like saying the right thing to people or like answering a call and it's like I don't like. I'm not gonna answer it right now because I don't know what to say. I don't know. Yeah. It's like I have very, very I overthink like everything. So I have like people always think that like I don't wanna respond to them, but I'm just like I have anxiety like talking to people on the phone. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah so does she. I really can't make any appointments I can't with make doctors. An appointment. or... Yeah. And like recently I can't even like if like DoorDash calls, mm -hmm. I can't answer really yeah. yeah yeah i don't know why and i know i just need to be like leave it at the door yeah and i know that's all i need to say yeah but for whatever reason that is like crossing the like biggest it's like a pole vaulting hurdle yeah i can't i can't pole vault over it yeah you can't i you i Love really that. can't thank you <laughs> um but i don't know what it is and me neither <clears throat> sorry also like answering texts too yes. is, is a new thing for me i think Mm -hmm. specifically since like being online i don't know why that's amplified Definitely. it yeah i don't know why it's it's so weird like i want to answer them and then i just i yeah i never do it feels very overwhelming for yeah. some reason Definitely. on my birthday last year i got like a bunch of texts for like happy birthday and i was like i'm not not gonna respond uh-huh and then those built up and i still have 300 unread texts and i they, they just like kept coming also, if I like sleep in and I have a bunch of texts and then I start texting people the next day, those just get pushed back and I'll just have this endless, now I have this endless mm -hmm. amount of unread texts yeah. and I'll never scroll down to see what they are. Me neither. It's too uh -huh. late. Yes. They need to yeah, They need to go away as, as alerts at some point. They need <laughs> right. to disappear as unread. I totally agree. It's like, I mean, if you go down and answer one of them, it's like, it's so late. Like, that's just like. It's done. That's, that's worse if you answer like. There's a, a there's a statute late. of limitations around a responding to a text. I agree. <laughs> they should but also follow up. <clears throat> no, I was. I don't say, mind the follow up. They should True. disappear because when that person follows up, like I don't want to see the text that I never answered. So they should disappear after a month or so. When you respond, <clears throat> you ever have people that have texted you a couple times and it, it was never urgent. It was just like, hey, what are you up to this yeah. week? And then for whatever reason that day, you're busy, whatever. And then you need something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my god oh i my never god. saw I'm, this i'm the worst i, ne <laughs> I never press send <laughs> can i borrow your car I'm moving 100 it's like the the worst experience in the world and oh you're my like, god you know what this friendship's actually over i'll i'll find i'll rent a u-haul right this weekend yeah and that's why you should answer texts yeah. yeah you should really just it's not hard here's, do it. here's my here's my favorite thing that you told me one day okay you don't want to do it can't do it with a smile. Do it with a frown. Uh huh. Do it with a scowl. <laughs> well, you know who said that? Who I love. Yeah. Dutch. Dutch from TikTok. Yeah, from he TikTok. Ch he has changed my life multiple times, but that was the biggest thing he did when he was like, "I know you don't want to do it, but you have to. So you don't have to smile. Do it with a frown. Do it with a scowl." And I was like, "Oh <laughs> my God, Dutch, I will." That is and so then true. I did my laundry. Like, okay. I wasn't happy about it. Yeah. But I did it. Okay, All thanks great. to Dutch. Yeah. It's a great, yeah. I yeah. was, I've been so, I've been off like the past week, two weeks at least, like probably a month actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, mm -hmm. and I was like so vulnerable two days ago that I opened my oatmeal, and there was like a like a saying on the inside: "Action excels." Hmm. Never mind. 
Exceeds, maybe? No, hang on. I can get it. I can get it. I can get there. Uh, it's presented in M. Motivation. Actions speak louder than words. Something That's like so that. That's so true. And I was like, whoa. You ever so vulnerable that you open a Snapple and it changes your life? Uh-huh. That lid? <laughs> like, I'm, I know for a fact at some point in history, someone has been in a space where they're like, damn, this is rock bottom. And then they open a Snapple and they're like, wait, I'm going to invent Microsoft. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, Connor. There's probably been a situation like that, and that's what it's meant for. It's not meant for someone that's like on antidepressants right. and killing it. It's meant for <laughs> someone that's like, oof, I needed that today. Yeah. Whoa, I needed point. the top of that. It was actually mush, which I'm really into. I'm going through like a mush oatmeal phase. I feel okay. like we all need those like mush oatmeal phases, though. You know? I, I'm so big. I'm like, why? You know Dove Chocolates? They have the same thing, that little motivational thing. We should be writing that everywhere. They At should the bottom have them of on, na- on all napkins. Napkins. Yeah. Oh, I love a good cocktail napkin. Uh-huh. Or a coaster. Ooh. With something fun on it. Yeah. Okay, business idea, free idea. Motivational quotes. Motivational on... everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm on board. And even like on tags of clothing. Like anywhere you can put it, give me a little pep talk. Yeah. Can't I hurt. Agree. Yeah. It yeah. can't hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I think we could all use it. Jack, okay. Back to our guest, Jack, that we have in the studio yeah. today on our podcast <laughs> as a guest. <laughs> um, you had a you were a child actor, right? Yes. Well, I guess you're still like compared to us, a child. Yeah. Act- I guess. Are you twenty? Yes. Wait, how old are you guys? Not too really old. Weird. Like or I could I'm... be your mother. Yeah. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I'm like getting freaked out about how old I am. Wait, do you care if I? I'm 26. That is not. Old. But I'm well, gonna be 27 next month, and that's what's getting me. There feels like. I don't know why 26 to 27 is also, feeling you look like... so amazing for 26. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I mean, that is... Yeah. I'm I, yeah, you did it. You Gosh. went there. Um, <laughs> yeah, totally. I've heard, yes, totally. I've heard awesome. that. I've been hearing Yeah. That. No, awesome. That's good. I've been hearing that. I love it. Um, yeah. I don't know why 26 to 27 is feeling like the jump from like 39 to 40. I'll tell you why. Because if you Six, sh- if you go sh- a hard if you shoplift when you're 20, yeah, he's a kid. Yeah. If I shoplift now, jail. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you stealing? Right. Why are you stealing? And I can't be like, I didn't want to wait in the line. I'm starving. Right. You know. Now it's like you got to go to jail now. You ha- you're you're a functioning. A lot happens from 20 years old, even 21 to 25. Right. A lot happens. Right. Yeah. I also am just feeling like. I don't know if it has to do with the way the number looks specifically. It's sharp. Like, it's a sharp. The seven is intense. Yeah. Sharp mm-hmm. points, lines. Yeah. The six it's is rigid. rounded Brooke, and smooth. Brooke, it's rigid. Yes, it's rigid. Yeah. And I don't know if it's that or what. I'm just, like, feeling sick. Wait, when is 27? Like, when's my birthday? Yeah. June 18th. June, okay, awesome. Yeah. This I'm a Gemini. What are you? I'm an Aries. That's good, I think. Oh, I, I think so. Gemini's, yeah, like, like, supposed to be bad. You're awful as well. What Leo? I'm a Virgo. Virgo, yeah, that's Virgo guys are the worst. But my birthday is on September 11th, so it cancels <laughs> out. <laughs> Surely that makes sense. Yeah, of course. To all my moon heads out there, that'll mm-hmm. that'll make sense. Pausing for another quick ad. Hey guys, we want to take a break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Tinder. With Tinder, it starts with a swipe. So many possibilities really are just a match away. Mm-hmm. As you guys have heard us say, Tinder is the world's most popular dating app. That means the most opportunity to find whatever it is you're looking for. Let me stop you right there. That's so true. Mm-hmm. And that means success on Tinder can mean whatever you want it to be. To mean, that is. Whether you're looking for love, a date, or a casual chat, Tinder has got you covered. Every week, a million and a half, that's 1.5 million, Tinder users go on an IRL date. That's in real life. Yeah. While other apps are hard, Tinder is easy and fun. Tinder also just released Relationship Goals, a new status for your profile that shows others what types of connections you're looking for. Relationship Goals is just one of the many features that Tinder has released to make sure you're comfy on the app. You know how I feel about comfort. comfort. It also has a ton of safety features more than any other dating app, so your dating experience not, is not only fun, but it's also safe. On Tinder, it starts with a swipe. Download Tinder today and explore all the possibilities for yourself. Anyways, you're a child actor. Yeah. Or you were currently a child actor. and and before. How and was I, the, I guess I'm I'm acting now. And you're acting now. Like well, you. Little... I was. I mean, 
looking at our docket here. We were, I wanted to ask about child acting because right now it's like a hot topic because child acting is pretty weird if you think about it because it's yeah. child labor. It's the same I as agree. going to Chick fil A and working the cashier. I stand. Th- and it's like, except. Also, I didn't like choose to do it. Yeah. You know, but my parents took us out of it because it was so toxic. Yeah. Really? You know? What? Do you remember any of it? Yeah, I do remember some of it. But like, wanna, this is a really broad question. But like, <laughs> what was it? What was it like? I loved it. You like, did? I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> but there was like, like at auditions, there was things my like my parents wouldn't tell me to like, not make us like feel bad, because like it's just very toxic. It's like very like, um, yes or no. Like, uh, if they don't want you, like they'll they'll just be very blunt and honest. And um, I remember one audition, uh, the three, uh, two of my brothers, um, we all went into an audition together and I was the only one that didn't get it. Oof. But I didn't like, I didn't really know at the time. Um, and my mom was just like, oh no, it's, it's okay. Like you'll, you'll get the next one. Like, but like looking back, I was like, wait, I didn't get the audition. Like, I was like, I totally messed up on it. Well, and at least, like, look at you now, vibes. Yeah. <laughs> you made it. Oh, thank you guys. Thank yeah. you. That's actually but, reminding me of at the, when I didn't get make it into the camp slideshow and I was devastated, sobbing, and my counselor told me it was because I was too pretty. <laughs> and it would make everyone upset. Well, you didn't look a day yeah. over. It would make everyone yeah. You didn't look, you didn't. You look so good for I eight know. years old. <laughs> and I said, oh, you know what? Yeah, that makes some Don't take that out of sense. context, please. <laughs> <laughs> begging, um, begging, begging. What's funny, you know, I was almost a child actor. Really? Yeah, I got approached in a mall by a stranger. Oh, that's what happened to us. Yeah, really? yeah. and they said, you like- have the look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I said, mom, we're unfortunately going to have to drive for four hours to a Hilton Garden Inn to their uh, banquet room and I had a monologue and I got picked and then they said, you're going to be giving us $6,000 now to get, to do continue. My parents said, oh, it's a scam. Oh. But I mean, a stranger approached me in a mall. I should have yeah. known better. Yeah. But that could have been, we don't know what that could have been. No, and why did they choose you? So you made Question. it too. Yeah, I had the look is what they said. You do and you still do, yeah. oh, I yeah. think. Mm-hmm. Um, But that's very, so, you're acting now still. Acting now, yes. Where I just I just started doing auditions again and um I'm really enjoying it. I love That's it. Good. Are they it's in really person fun. now? Um like the the auditions. Yeah. Or is They're, it still self taped? It's all self taped. Which I, I think they'll keep doing that. Um Really? Which I like the self tapes because you can like do it as many times yeah. as you want. Um but yeah. I think I feel like in person it would make me like really nervous. Me too. Like, yeah. what if you mess up? You just say I messed up. Sorry, and start over. <laughs> hey, sorry, can I try again? I would like, do that eighteen so awesome. times. Yeah. <laughs> like, me too. Um, I agree. Do you think that having? Oh, look at you! Yeah, I was looking at this. You're a sensational, this actor. stunning image, <laughs> dancer, and athlete. Don't I know it? I this feel a social media phenomenon. That's do you do so you true. do you think that the, having followers like helps you get auditions and stuff? Do you think it like sways, um, gets you in the room? It must at least a little bit. Not saying that De- your skill isn't definitely. Which I don't. I don't want that. Because yeah. It's like, I yeah. I don't want that because, but also when people when like casting directors look at the auditions, they don't. They don't look at they the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, like they see if they're a if good you have actor. the look. But I'm sure, like for callbacks, like I feel like it could affect if like they were due to like research on the person. But also, I like I want to be. I've been doing like classes for a while, so I want to be like a like a good enough actor to where like that doesn't matter. Like the followers don't matter. Mm-hmm. That's just like yeah. a plus benefit. That's like when I when I book these comedy shows and I'm like, oh, I I know for a fact I because I started doing like stand up this year. I know for a fact oh I booked God. it because of the follower thing. And I'm like, I, I go in these rooms with these people that have been doing it for ten years or whatever, and I know that they want to they want to hit me with a car. Like I just yeah. know that because I'm just like in the room mm-hmm. because of the follower thing. Like, I know, I know. Poor baby. I know. It's a, Wait, life is super you, hard. You, I want to go. You should. You should come. I have one next week. Um, actually, that's not going to be a great one to go to. I don't think because I'm hosting. I'm not. Do I'm not performing. 
I would well, love you'll let you'll let Jack. Know yeah, I'll let you know. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. What would be your like dream kind of role? Hmm. For me, for example, dead body on Criminal Minds. Mm. Thanks for thanks for asking. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh! Hmm. Like, would you rather be like a kissing booth kind of thing, mm. or like, um, call me by your name, like a serious? I love call me by yeah. your name. I think that would be. Call me by your name, Goodwill Hunting. Uh huh. Oh, you so want to like, do serious? You want to do like intense? Yeah, but also I, I love I love comedy too. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I love like heavy drama and wow. You know, I like getting in my field. Yeah, you, know? I, you would be so good at that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, think, you would like to be in kind of like a kissing booth kind of film, right? Yeah, I think cheesier for yeah, me because I, I think I can do the cheesy thing yeah. really. I can nail that, or the comedy thing. I couldn't be in a serious movie. At this difficult time, I think you're better than you think you are. No, because I would, I would laugh. I had to do this one audition, and this sucks to say out loud, but um, and for people that don't know that you're, if you're listening, basically when you get an audition right now during COVID, they started doing self tapes. So you film everything at home, you memorize the lines, you read with someone at home, and it's like just a horizontal video of you that you send blindly. You don't see reactions. You either hear back or you don't. I had this one that was like. 10 pages, you said Goodwill Hunting. It was for something like that. So it was like a more serious role. Mm -hmm. And I had to cry <laughs> in one scene, which I did. I cried. And then directly after that, I had to do a rap. What was and the by the way, the character, 20, 23-year-old white dude, I'm like, you're setting me up for fucking failure. I was like, I'm being punked. The context was like he wrote a song, but it was like a rap, and he was. I don't even know if the movie made it to production. Based on that, I assume it didn't. But I did that, and I sent it off, and I'm like, that sucks. That like people are gonna watch me cry, and get through my lines with my lip quivering, going, <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately go. Ah, uh, once was it? <laughs> I feel like Lin Manuel Miranda, and I'm like sitting there, and it got sent in, and whatever. Like two months go by and someone comes up to me who's not on my team, who's not on, a, not even at the same agency. And is like, I saw your audition for the thing. I was like, <gasps> what? How? And they're like, well, when you put it in the pool, like the bucket, like people can just, it's like a public thing mm -hmm. that you want because they all submit clients <laughs> that is for the same roles. <gasps> so I didn't audition for about three months on anything else because I was like, I don't want anyone to see any more of these things. <laughs> Okay, now I've got a pit in my stomach thinking about my one, <laughs> my one, my one self tape kind of floating out there. I have done one. Okay, and I like thought it was a sure thing, um, because I had like just gotten signed, and my agents were like, "Oh, they asked for you," and I thought that meant that I got it, <laughs> and that this was a formality, and it was the Goldbergs that okay. show. About like the it, just like a family in Philadelphia, like Jewish, and I was like, that makes complete sense, as that is my biography. Um, and I had to sing in the audition, <laughs> but badly. Okay. She's good. She has a good voice. And really? yeah, not not really, but it was like brutal, and it was like long. It was what was it? Tiny Dancer, Elton John. It was, and but it, it was, was like, different. It was made up lyrics. Very similar situation to me. Because you were giving that as a gift to someone, and it was really bad. Oh Remember? yeah, I was yeah. reading. I think, for and the it was developer. like a lot. It was like a lot, like a lot, of, like a minute of singing, <laughs> and to think that that's that is that exists and it's floating out there, and some, it's in someone's it. hands is is a tough, <laughs> tough nut. Yeah, yeah, some of them are so awkward. Yeah, so awkward. I have like I have an audition where it's like there's no talking in it. It was just like it was for like a horror movie, so I just like that would be fun. I just do like. Oh, you'd be good in a horror movie. Thank you. I can Thank picture you. you with blood all over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I yeah, think you would die first, though. Y yeah, yeah, I agree. Like the dumb blonde that dies first. No, you're just like the goofy, like, I'm going to go look in the closet. <laughs> on the spot, scene one. I'm really seeing you in that. bodies, bodies, bodies. Oh, oh my gosh. That. Yeah. That, that'd okay, be cool. Sorry. Just keep continue. Chatting. Sorry. Wait, I forgot. Sorry. I you sorry, had an audition and it was a horror Oh, yes. I had an audition and it was a horror movie. There's no talking. In it. All I had to do was just like get like the jump scares, like, <gasps> and just like look through the door and like see like what's there. The the light turns on and then like I had to freak out. Very, very like awkward, you know? Like, yeah. How do you even 
Yeah, when I like watch it back, I'm like, what? Sorry. Oh, you're good. No worries at all, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've gotten three phone calls since we've been sitting here, so you're totally fine. Sometimes and, they're interesting. Just, Today they've been sketchy. Someone called me that I have not spoken to in three years just now. Oh. The business random opportunity phone number or yeah, a new and a new person. Random. Okay. Um, here's a question, Jack. Have you auditioned for any projects that you were like super close to getting and then didn't and are now out and you watch them and you're like, damn, that could have been me? Um, uh, the, is this the scream movie like before, uh-huh. not the, not the recent one, but the one right before it was like the, the blonde kid, I think, um, someone else played it, but yeah, that was like a movie I was like, oh. Damn. Yeah, that would have been. That would have been. Um, oh, Scream 4. Or was it Scream 5? Oh. Lucy, was Lucy Hale in it? it was, this one had Lucy it was Hale with, in it. Uh, you need, this phone needs to stop. That would have been so cool. Oh, Jack Quaid was just on someone's podcast. Oh, podcast, but outside. They had Jack Quaid. Oh, awesome. Jack Quaid. I don't. I can't read Roman numerals, so that's just gonna that's <laughs> gonna be up in the air. Why is why are they all numbers except the one is IV? Where are you seeing that? I see the letter five. I mean the number, if you will. Right there on the screen. Yeah, I see it now. Vi. Were you in? Oh, so it wasn't Scream Vi that you were supposed I to. I don't be really. In. I don't really know. Roman yeah, I know. Numerals I know. Too. Once they start throwing Roman, that's why I never know what Super Bowl Wait. is. The one with uh, it's like, it's a recent one, but like no one really liked. The movie. Oh. Oh, you so dodge a bullet. For the best. Yeah. So you dodge a bullet. Of, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Um. Yeah. One time I had this audition and I was like, "Oh, it's mine for a fact. Like yeah. I got this again." Formality. Um. Who did they cast for it? Uh, Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy, Connor? And I was gonna say something. Why did they begin- even have me audition? <laughs> that was like very early on, like the first time I ever like spoke to you. I was helping you with that audition singing nettles yeah and you were wearing this shirt yeah i've had this shirt since uh eighth grade which is scary that i remember that how'd you just hear that i've had this shirt we met online <gasps> like a day like a, yeah on tinder wait really no thanks for <laughs> um, and this will be a great place for us to think a sponsor of today's ad tinder <laughs> Woo! we met on tiktok oh yeah. okay yeah yeah, yeah. and it's now fun. and the rest has been his kind of history yeah Her it's story. always just Her been story. like Best friends. Totally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Wait, I, I yes. Yeah, so, uh, you guys are best friends. Sure. Yeah. Of you course. Could say, yeah, totally. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> or you guys like Yeah. We touch and hold hands like this. Yeah. Constantly. Wait, I don't I actually I don't know. Are you guys No, we are. You guys are dating. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> We are. We are. I feel like I've had. This I always conversation. get super uncomfortable when like the b- term "best friend" is brought up. But you, I would. You're one of my best friends. Yeah, ditto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Jack, <laughs> do you want? Do you want this podcast? <laughs> you want to lead the rest of the? <laughs> I'm sweating. Jack's clearly. We've made Jack yeah. uncomfortable now. No, we haven't. You're no. It's fine. He didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's keep anyway. moving, you guys. <laughs> What do you say? You I think, were on American Ninja Warrior. Oh, American Ninja Warrior. With was. James, your twin, and you're yes. a twin. Have you just met James? No, oh, yeah. but no. I love James. He's awesome. And you probably love him, too. Oh, I do love him. Yeah. Are you guys you got that right? best friends or <laughs> or uh, br- closer? Um, Yeah. Yeah? We're like, we're like this. Totally. Yeah. Have you always been like, <laughs> yeah. like that? We've always been like that, you know? Um. I don't know. We've had like our little periods of like fighting. But right. We've, we've always been like very close. Well, he's like one of those people that like we don't have to talk to be like super close, yeah. you know, like I'll see him. Well, you have twin twin power. Yeah. Do you like, feel like you have now. that? Let's talk I about that. So. Yeah. Because you guys are about to be the biggest anomaly known to known to me, which is not only blonde adult men, which you see very rarely, but blonde adult male twins. And are you a natural Bro. blonde? I am. Or wow. Like, I mean, it's, this is my natural color. Wow. Like dirty yeah. Blonde. No, that's mm-hmm. blonde if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. He is, really is what we've been kind of speaking about this whole I always, time. I always talk about it. Every time I see like a blonde adult man in, in public, I take a picture. 
<laughs> Snap. Yeah, because it's rare. I don't know Wait. why. I feel like I don't see very many. No, not to mention I have never, I don't think I've ever met a pair of like adult male twins. Yeah. That, just that have their own things going on. Many adult male twins go into business together. Yeah. yeah. Like that is Faraday. True. <laughs> yeah. Like the, um, <laughs> or the Property Brothers. The twins that made Outer Bank. Or Banks. the Oppenheim. The twins that made Outer Bank. Yeah. Didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. What's his name? Jonah Pate? Mm-hmm. And he has a twin? Mm-hmm. And they went into business together. Yeah. I think you either need to fight to the death or start a business together. Mm-hmm. I agree. Or absorb the other one in the womb and just like knock, knock nip it in the bud. Well, <laughs> you and James really are the anomaly because he's off at school, right? Yeah, he's at yeah. Stanford. Yeah, he's wow. Oh, wow. Very smart. Holy smokes. Very yeah. smart. And have an older brother at Yale. You have an older brother. Whoa. Yeah. I'm like. You have really strong genes. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Just like in terms of like intelligence and. Got you. And just like no, talent you. and stuff. Oh, thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. I'm not at college right now, but. No, there's no need. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean. If I might want, as well not. I, I was just saying there's. Yeah. I'm not getting any use out of my early childhood degree. What? Did you guys go to college? Yeah. What college did. did you guys go to? I went to BU. Boston University. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hated it. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you're awesome. interested in, <laughs> in going, I'd love to have. Well, I probably won't go now. Okay. Yeah. I but wouldn't if you. I were you, but. Okay. Good. No, I would, I would never, I would not even consider it. No. If I was you. You've, you've got more experience with what you're doing now than anyone in college could like go to school for, unless you wanted to do computer science or something. <laughs> <laughs> right no. but like from a business perspective i think i think traveling has made me learn so much just from like i don't know like from like everything just like like how to be independent like mm-hmm. learning about different cultures i think traveling like has felt like a, like college to me you know you know what every single time someone says that or every it makes sense to me right eat pray love vibes it's like going to see a documentary movie. It's like I've, I come out of there, like shift my brain, shifted. Every time I get back from from a trip, especially abroad, I'm fighting for my life not to bring it up every time I have a conversation. Well, you know, in Italy, <laughs> when we order a coffee, we actually sit to drink it. And we don't, we don't want, well, there's no such thing as to go coffee. Sit and enjoy it. Right. Life is so short. Enjoy the, it's kind of like shut up vibes, <laughs> <laughs> but like I, I get the. Wait, was I getting? I was giving this. No, line. no, no. When you said you were like, yeah. I learned so much from traveling. It's like a lot of people would scoff at that. Like when I don't travel for a while, I'm like, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, who was that in Eat, Pray, Love? It wasn't Reese Witherspoon, was it? it was no, it Julia it's Julia Roberts. Roberts. Like, all right, Julia Roberts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chill out. But it makes sense to me. <laughs> it totally does. Every time I get back from a trip, it's like I have like six months of like I'm just such a better person. Yeah, I yeah. Agree. I'm understanding. Yeah. I want to dance like no one's watching. <laughs> What's been your most meaningful trip? Um, I think recently to India. Oh, wow. That looked yeah. very cool. It was like, it was really, really cool. Like, I love, I love the culture. I love the food. Food. The people were so sweet. Yeah, it was awesome. That's awesome. What did you, like, what did you go for just to visit? Okay. It was like a, they, they called it like the, the new Met Gala of like India. It's like the India oh. Met Gala, which was like really cool, you know? Wow. So like everyone had, there's like the the textiles, like it was beautiful outfits, you know? Yeah, I was watching this very closely because this is just like something so far over my head, cool cool wise. Yeah. And look at, looking, you, look at you, Jack. <laughs> look at you. Stunning. Oh, thank you. Wow. Thanks, guys. Oh, incredible. I need, to, I need to travel more. There's just not enough. You travel every day. I need to study abroad is what I mean. That's why I think we should just all stay in like college terms for the rest of our lives because that's what I meant. I didn't even mean to say that. I agree. No, I like that. I want to like take a semester off. Yeah. I, I need to study abroad. I also need the college terms. I don't have that in my life. Right. Yeah. I would yeah. love to. S- semester. Yeah. Um, Borg. Yeah. Okay. Borg. It's like a poison. Oh, is drink. that the new drink? Yeah. Okay. It's all over What is TikTok. it? It's a huge gallon, right? Yeah. It's riot juice, I think is what another term and for it. Is, I what's like, in it? Um, can we look up what's in a Borg? Like half water. Half water. You put in yeah. half alcohol. And then Kool-Aid. And Kool-Aid. So I used to do this in college. We had this big event where we'd drive to Dallas from Austin. So it was like three and a half hours on this bus. And we'd all have our like personal drinks. And I would get a jug. 
and I would put like a fifth of whatever in it, vodka or something. And then I would fill the rest up with water and I would put um, emergency, two packs of emergency and Mio. So I'm like, I'm getting electrolytes. Mm -hmm. I'm firing my, I'm getting vitamin D, vitamin C, whatever the orange one is. And then I'm getting kind of sloshed a little bit on this bus. It was awesome because I was... I was feeling healthy at that Canceling time. Canceling it out, yeah. Borg is short for blackout rage gallon. Oh, perfect. <laughs> which I, I said riot juice, and I think that kind of goes parallel. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was spot on. I don't yeah. understand how, like, technically I have the same body as other people. Because, like, if I had one sip of that, I would be in the ICU. <laughs> right. So that well, is Borg just... is not for everyone. Just right. College is not for everyone. That's so true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I think I would have liked another Don't college. Don't yourself up about it. Yeah, that's a good... <laughs> okay, I won't bork myself. That being said, we should we should do a Borg episode. Where uh-uh. we're just... That is where I put my foot down. I agree. I cannot Borg. <laughs> well, don't don't Borg it till you try it. I'm Borging it. I'm sorry. Borg or no Borg. <laughs> <laughs> we could do this all day. Okay, um, should we get into some... We could borg culture? this thing to death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stop. let's let's go ahead and get into some pop culture. <laughs> okay, okay. So, do you, guys, do you ever have some of your coffee or just oh like my a God, sip? Of course, oh, I have such horrible news. Well, for you. we can get you your own cup. We, How's that? Really? Yeah, Couldn't, we can yeah. take a little pause and get you. I would coffee. actually love to I pee. One of yours. I would. I would love to pee. Well, I'm gonna make one. Oh, thank you. Hold so much. still. I feel like I didn't make my statement on Taylor and Maddie clear enough. You did. You okay. nailed it. You kept it straight to the point, too. Okay. Which, like, yeah. is shocking because I was expecting you to dig a new hole mm-hmm. next <laughs> to your other one. Mm-hmm. And you okay. did. Okay. I was, like, waiting for you to say something. Or I was going to be like, all right, this is going to be this week's Did I thing. say that I love Taylor Swift? Yeah. And Perfect. you said I'm wearing my Swifty thing because I'm supporting the relationship wholeheartedly. Did I say fake it so you make it? Yeah. You did. Oh, awesome. I got all my major points. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, I'm not in the mic. Sorry. <laughs> Was that good though? Could we keep that? Yeah. Could you hear it? Yes. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Just reiterating those points. <laughs> Gonna have a sip of my drink now. <laughs> What's your drink? So my drink is Borg. It's I'm Borg. I'm trying really hard to eat during the day instead of like just gorging myself at night. So Rude. starting with this apple ginger juice with chia seeds. Okay. Yeah. Chia seeds are very good for digestion. Right. Uh, yeah. I need help yeah. with awesome. that. Taking a sip. <laughs> oh, we're all We could jump back in whenever. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Jack, what, what up here interests you the most? Did we have any like nuanced things that... I'm cool with whatever. I don't. I'm very bad with deciding. Okay. Very well, indecisive. I can talk we about. Too. Um, do you like Ed Sheeran? I think he's good. Like very good music. Yeah. He seems like oh, a nice guy. He's gonna tell me about that chia seed on my lip. <laughs> not, okay. <laughs> not Jack. Yeah, not Jack. Ooh. Um, we yeah. So we just recently come out as being Ed Sheeran. This is an Ed Sheeran safe space, which yeah. means okay, that awesome. we. I feel like that might we, have been a. A we tough support. Nut to swallow for the listeners we support. We support Ed, and he has some great music. And when we said Ed Sheeran safe space, some people thought we meant like this is a space free of any Ed Sheeran speak, and that's <laughs> not true. What we meant was this is a place where people who like Ed Sheeran are safe to Thank be you. themselves. Okay. So speaking of Ed Sheeran, awesome. He like gave. I don't know if it was a surprise concert or if it was planned or what. Did you see this in West Hollywood, Jack? Did you see like videos of it at all? The no. he was just like playing on on top of one of these double decker buses, which, by the way, I really want to do. Oh, so he was right, like off of Melrose, and while this was happening, and I had no idea this was happening, I was at the farmers market on Melrose Place by Alfred, if you guys know where that is, and I was having the most amazing time listening to Ed sing, which I thought was through through the speakers. Yeah. Of just like kind of like live coffee house Ed music. You just and came I was right like, by you. This is awesome because like as I've just stated, love Ed Sheeran. This is in keeping with the theme 
of the week. Turns out I was listening to this live concert and I had no idea. Uh, God Which, works in mysterious that's, ways. And so that is Ed. crazy. That's why I love LA. Because yeah, so you just never know when you're at a concert. Who are you listening to right now? This is our Gen uh, Z expert. Mm-hmm. Let's Give us some trends in music and et cetera. I don't really, I mean. And not I, to put you on the spot. No, at no, no. All. You're good. I but we are depending like, on you for this answer. More like, uh, like, like Beach House, yeah. Cigarette You like that, stack, right? Like, yeah. Like, do you like? You... Nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. Huge foot. Cool. Maybe uh, that's you. A, c- that's a pole vaulter's foot, if I've ever seen. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna like look it up right now, and I'll tell you. Sorry. Um, what have I been listening? I've been listening to Tom, a lot of Tom yeah. Mish recently. Okay. And it's weird because I went on a run last night. I had like the best run of my entire entire life was not tired and it's because i think it's because instead of listening to like rap where i get like really hyped up to stuff that i can't relate to at all um i was listening to like tom mesh where he was just like and i'm sitting at home by the fire relaxing i'm like yeah i can relate to that i've heard like 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 slower music like actually makes you happier it's like opposite yeah it, it, it is because I'm like trying to memorize all of Ice Spice's lyrics yeah. and it like fires me up in a big way. But then when I go yeah. to like do anything, it's like I'm off a little bit. Yeah. My pH balance is a little off when I'm Definitely. listening to Ice Spice. <laughs> I can't explain that. Uh, I have to now work out to the Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack or or bust. Keeping consistent. Yeah. Which, right. by the way, sorry, Jack, while you pull up. Oh, no, no worries. Are you Jack ready? Johnson. No, I'm Johnson. Yeah, Jack Johnson. Oh, yeah. Okay. I said, oh, no, I said Steven Johnson. Sanchez. You said Tom Dream Man. Girl. <laughs> Who'd you say? Who else? Um, Dream Girl, Steven Sanchez. Uh, I'll look for more. I love all these like indie. The Growlers. I love um, the Growlers. It, all these indie yeah. rock, uh, like kind of soft beach house artists just sound like you put a bunch of words into a bucket and yeah. shook it up and you were like, the... The sand rats. Refrigerator magnet. Yeah. Those refrigerator words that yeah. people just... You're moving yeah. around. Yeah. The frights. Yeah. Yeah. Drowning seagulls. <laughs> and they have like the best songs you've ever heard. What was it going to What were we talking about right before this? I don't know. Yeah, sorry, I cut you guys off. No, no, no. Oh, it was going to be something. Ed Sheeran? No. Concert. No. You never know when you're at a concert in LA. That's what I love about LA. No, there was something. There was something else? There was something else. It's okay. What were, do you guys know what we were just talking about? <laughs> uh, my my juice. No, no, no. You know what? It's totally fine. Let's keep the ball rolling. Because no, I was interested on too. Oh, because you were interested in it. Yeah, you guys were both talking about it. Oh, music. No, no, music? no. It was like while Jack was pulling up his songs. This is what oh, happens. Yeah. But this is yeah. what happens with us. By the way, we just go off, and there's no catching us. You know what's interesting about ADHD? What? I think I have it like late onset or something, or I think I've maybe had it this whole time and it's just been so eclipsed by all the other issues I have that we we haven't caught it, you know? It might be amplified by my severe ADHD as well. Right, you, yeah. It might be... The same way I have osmosis. IBS. My, my stomach issue yeah. to you. You're I, didn't, I didn't even think that was possible. I had no stomach issues. It's okay. I have very bad ADHD too. So. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what makes a podcast with points that we have to hit really tough because all of a sudden we think of like how crazy fingers are and then that's the rest of the podcast Mm -hmm. it's talking about evolution that we know nothing about how often do you actually go on tiktok and scroll i know this i'm not on tiktok um like i'll only go on tiktok just like just for like I, I I sometimes go on TikTok just like to, I'll scroll and be like oh shoot I'm on this too much like I'm yeah I catch myself but I'll be on it just like for ideas you know oh, but so you're not like a scroll before bed kind uh, of I try not to just because I don't know I notice like I'll get caught on it yeah. too long no totally know? I fell asleep with my phone in my hand last night and by the grace of God woke up at like six a.m. with one percent. <laughs> That's so scary. Can you imagine? No, I was gonna. I was gonna say I got a bedside table finally because I keep waking up with my 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 charger wrapped around my neck like a baby in the womb mm-hmm. and the um, umbilical cord. Yeah, I'm. We're, I'm shocked. Both of us are up today. Me too. Did you watch Jury Duty? Yeah, great show. Some it's of the best so TV good. we've been oh meeting to talk about it for the past two weeks. That is some of the best TV I've seen since like OG SNL with like. 
Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, I totally Will agree. Ferrell, one hundred percent. Oh, like every every actor in it was like amazing. By the way, so if you you can go through and rewatch it again, if you're able to stay off your phone, which I was not the first time around. Uh-huh. Um, and if you rewatch and watch everybody else, everybody's individual face, you could watch it as many times as there are actors. I love like watching yeah. things multiple times through the <laughs> lens, through different lenses. Yeah. So like at first you're watching through the lens of Ronald. Hold on, I'm gonna watch a second time through the lens lens of James. Ronald, by the way, before you even keep moving, I was on something the other day and Ryan Reynolds via Mint Mobile has has hired him on to be his like next spokesperson, which is so funny because he's not a good actor when there's lines. Ronald? He was, he would, <laughs> Ronald's not a good I actor. I don't think it ma- even matters. No, but it's bad. It's like, it's oh, like I super see. bad. We could play the whole thing. I think... Ryan Reynolds is teetering on loser list, like for me. Really? Yeah, just because it's so. He gives me 3D printed energy. Okay. If that, if like the whole, his whole thing. Yeah. I but think we, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. We can down. play it. He also looks like Stuart Little for, to me. We can, we can play it and then we can. It's hard to believe that in a time of crazy inflation, mint is still just $15 a month. Can you believe that, Ronald? No. This doesn't seem real. Well, it is. Premium wireless, $15 a month. What's your problem? Are there hidden cameras? The camera's right there. It's massive. I have some major trust issues. I've been through some shit, man. I've got you. You can trust me. I mean, like, they could have maybe... Hired a creative team or something. He doesn't need to be a good actor. No, I, th- I thought it was awesome. I thought it was really smart. I thought it was really timely. Um, Personally, love it. He's probably getting paid so much for that, and he and as he I hope so. And he Mint Mobile it. just sold yeah. for one point three billion dollars. Oh, so that'd be good. I don't think people watch it and they're like, "Oh, he's a bad actor." Right. You know? I just like, I was like, weird seeing him. That's the first time I've seen him like act. outside of an event. Yeah. Outside of jury duty, and now he's on this Mint Mobile thing. I don't know, man. I have trust issues. <laughs> I don't think I've ever... Could they get him a a better haircut as well? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like, no one's going to say it. I We're both it... haircut advocates. Like, maybe we yeah. get in touch. I think it's endearing. Yeah. You know? Because he's not swept up in the... I'm obviously projecting because yeah. he's a better person than I am. Right. He's not swept and up in the... four feet taller the than me. The shallowness of... Yeah. Of Hollywood and such. Um, he will be. Give it time. I hope he doesn't. But I've li- I've never been alive to witness someone so universally loved. Yeah. Like, no one could possibly say a bad word about Ronald. Mm-hmm. And, I, so, yeah. I mean, like... I did. That's twice pretty, on like, accident. Like, Sorry. What like, could you have to say? Bad actor, bad haircut. Oh. <laughs> that's not about his character. No. Like, imagine being like a... Like a bad person on that show. Like, what would you? I, the, they, dude, I, that I think I would be. No, well, I mean, if I'm mic'd up, especially if you're on, jury it's gonna duty, be all like, bleeps. You just don't want to be there. Like, yeah, this man was such a good guy. Well, I think. Yeah. Also, they were probably gonna. They were more likely to get a good guy because you had to like actively sign up for the documentary. Like he True. found that through Craigslist or something. Oh, I guess I missed that he part. He found like, oh, we're making a documentary about jury duty on Craigslist. So he actively signed up for that. So they were like able to kind of audition him. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. James Marsden, like this could be, this is the thing that's going to be his legacy. I feel like. I think so too. Because it's obviously not nope. Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. But you know what? That jury duty. got me on a James Marsden kick and I went back and watched it Enchanted which is before your time. Have you seen that? I No, I haven't. I really so. one of the best. I would encourage everyone. No, I have seen Enchanted. To go yeah. back and watch that. Is that was, the, it's the one where they're cartoons the cartoon and then and they then, come yes. into the real world. So good. So, so good. incredible. Oh and I'm looking forward to seeing the second one that just came out. You know, is, you, is this the one that they came out of the manhole too? Because when yeah. they went into cartoon. Growing up, I really thought manholes were going to play like a way bigger part in my life than they ended Kinda up Kind of like playing. quicksand. Yeah, like a manhole. Ooh. There's stuff in the manhole. Everyone get in the manhole. Uh-huh. There's, we're taking an adventure down through the manhole. I've never been in a manhole. I, yeah, I definitely thought like walking through sewers would be... A bigger be part of my... <laughs> yeah. Bigger than it is, 100%. Yeah. No, nope, yeah. never been yeah, in. that quicksand, black holes, like all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That was like... 
such a big deal. Are black holes real or fantasy? They're real. They're real. And every time I think about them, I have panic attack. I would love to move on from black holes. Okay, totally fine. (laughs) Hey, let's move on. They're probably not. Oh, that's why. Sorry, Jack. I know that we're supposed to let you talk as you're our guest, but I no, no. today I'm just my brain's firing off. I love listening. It wasn't to you. right even before you walked in. Brooke asked why I was being so quiet. Him being no, quiet but... is the scariest thing that <laughs> I, I have about ever to experienced. Yeah. And then I got past it. Because he, like had, I said I would get past it. He had I vitamin D on an empty stomach. Oh, that would get mm-hmm. you. So just don't. Got gotcha. you. Be warned. Mm-hmm. Um, what like? What were you? I was gonna say I saw Guardians of the Galaxy. I was having panic attack like the whole time because the sp- they're in space the whole time. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh. Oh. What is it? Just like the how vast it is. Yeah, and like do you th- floating. Do you and, think like, of yourself being, being to, lost? Like, move freaks me out. Yeah, being lost yeah. freaks me out. I'm like, where are you going? That is like the worst thing I could think about is just like being in orbit you forever. Can't, you alone. can't plug it into Apple Maps. Earth. Uh uh-uh. uh. Can't. Yeah. No. And they always talk so much shit about Earth in sci-fi movies. In in what way? It's a it's a horrible planet. Oh, it's the one it's the one we have. So right. Don't know what you got till it's gone. Do you believe in aliens? Uh, I just don't have time. Jack, do you believe in aliens? Yeah, definitely. Me too. Yeah, I don't. I got to think about what is in front of me. No, I yeah. agree. Totally. Yeah. I mean, but I, I think aliens are so so real. So real. Yeah. I don't think they're like those little, like E.T. I'm not picturing no. E.T., but I'm picturing like a, you know, a, weird a bug. They could yeah. be slugs. Right. Yeah. I'm picturing kind of like a bug. Yeah. They could be slug people. Yeah. Or they could look just like us. Or they can be giant. Except they could all sing. Oh, they could, could you... be giant. They could be like Pokemon. For all... We don't know. We don't know. And that's what's cool. Yeah. Um. Also, PETA named Guardians of the Galaxy like the number one most beneficial to animal and animal cruelty in the world. What exactly is, isn't this Guardians is, of the Galaxy I will Marvel? tell you, what you want to not do is go see that one as your first ever Marvel movie. Okay. I was left a little bit c- confused. What, what is it? Are there are animals in it? <laughs> Tons of animals. Is it animated? Like half. It's I don't like, get it. It's like enchanted. <laughs> so it's in space, half animated, and superheroes? Wait, is this the first one? or the- This is the, la- the most recent one that is in theaters right now. How is it? Like everybody was crying, and I was like, "It's a raccoon with a gun." I guess I don't. That's not for me. Maybe because you missed the first two. I was asleep. Yeah, the whole time. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, well, volume three. I missed the first two. Looking forward to seeing it. And Probably. Bradley Cooper plays the raccoon. Okay. Awesome. Which is crazy that you could be Bradley Cooper, you could do a Star Is Born, and then play an animated raccoon for three movies. That is <laughs> like true. right after. And that. he's probably getting paid just as much for the probably, animated raccoon. Probably. 10x yeah Real. to play raccoon rocket is his name rocket excuse me do you think yeah do you think marvel's like milking their like their movies like the franchise of like all like the guardians of the galaxy like the avengers like all that stuff so speaking on marvel is as scary to me as speaking on taylor swift mm-hmm. <laughs> do you want to wear my necklace while you talk about it Can i just touch it yeah my swifty necklace be careful though don't break it because i love it so much i do feel like <laughs> in the same realm as like harry potter where like the author can just write more books as long as they want like this this thing could because there's endless plot lines because it's an infinity war like, yeah we could, this could go on forever i honestly i feel bad i feel like the fans are being taken advantage of because there's no end in sight but honestly they if they like it they like it Totally. And totally. then I released the necklace. I didn't say anything bad. No, you didn't. I said it's not for me. That's fine. Now, if yeah. they made 15 Fool's Golds movies with Matthew McConaughey and Kate Hudson in their prime, that would be Mar- Marvel. Do you like Fool's Gold better than How to Lose a Guy? Yeah. That's crazy to me. I think it's How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is good. What's your favorite rom-com? Mm. Think the about notebook. it because it's a it's a good it has. I like the Notebook. Is that a wrong? I wouldn't no, say good. it's a com. No, it's like you're oh. saying like cheesy, like kind of like thirteen oh, going it's, on it's thirty. Yeah, you're, you're right. Um, crazy stupid love. Fifty first dates. Oh, I love Fifty first dates. Um, this is forty. I really, I really like Fifty first dates. Actually. Yeah, that's a good yeah, one. that is a great. That's one. a comfort movie of mine. Yeah. Well, because you go to Hawaii a lot, mm-hmm. so every time I'm watching that movie, I'm like, oh, like. You know, all these beaches. I'm like, oh, we hang out there. Yeah. Oh, we go here. Sea Life Park. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's bizarre that Adam Sandler was there. Um, I would love to go to Hawaii one day. Oh, we should all go. We, I would Let's love go. that. She's never been. I've yeah. never been. You've never been? Oh my God, you'd love it. I know. Okay, let's look at... Oh, by the way, is TikTok still in talks to be banned or is that over? I think it's over. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I think... I felt like it was never going to be taken off. I felt that way too, but everyone yeah. was telling me that yeah. I should take this well, one more like seriously. A, I've heard that. I'm, I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Perfect. Should um, we I just wrap? We, I think that we are pretty much good to wrap here. <laughs> I, have, I have nothing to say that... Hasbulla is out of jail. He's in house arrest. He seems in in a chipper state, and I wish him the best. Hasbula? Did you not know he went to jail? No. Hasbulla went to jail. Why? Some he was a arrest- traffic violation. I mean, Truck Hasbulla's part- pretty out of control. No, can we all agree on that? Wait, why is Mandy Patinkin trending? Do you know who Mandy Patinkin is? No. Wow. He's like an. He was in Yentl, Broadway. The the WGA, oh, strike, the writers. He is an incredible we're, man. We're still standing with he writers. He is an activist. We are. Yes. Woo. I'm loving Mandy taking the charge on that. And not to mention the lead in the first two seasons of Criminal Minds. Did you know that like Netflix is bringing out like food trucks and music to like, it's like a festival, I think, outside of the Netflix office for the, stri- for the writers? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I just like, Wait, don't trust me. Netflix is doing that and also not paying their writers. Yeah, it seems a little backwards. Okay. Yeah, wait. Imagine Dragons perform. Oh. I saw someone tweet. They're like, oh, they're they're bringing out all their anti-union tactics to like break up the strike. Okay. Imagine Dragons was out there. Really? Yeah. Imagine Dragons. You were there, Jack. Great show. That oh, made the AMA. When I when we saw them live, I was like. Damn, like I yeah. think I might be a fan. Oh my god, so good. Jack, leave us with your favorite piece of advice that you've received from a rapper. Or not from a musical rapper, from like a dove chocolate rapper. Mm. <laughs> mm. Or the top of a Snapple Fortune can. Cookie. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Those were the OG Snapple tops. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. Snapple was Season ahead of the desist. game with glass bottles, by the way. Good for them. Is Snapple still a thing? I wouldn't drink one. I would. And I mean, unless I love the Snapple apple drink that's red because you would expect it to be in the color of an apple. We have to give Jack the floor. No, we're, did you just drink like the Arizona teas when you were? Yeah. Yeah. That was like, it was such a, yeah, it was like 99 cents. Really? I thought it was a dollar 29. Those were so hyped. Yeah. I think they, because inflation is hitting everybody. That was like the thing back then. Like you were cool if you had like Arizona. Because I think that that's what all the potheads would drink because mm-hmm. it got rid of their, their cotton mouth. But then like oh, yeah. if you got one, it looked like you're smoking weed, but like got you. you weren't. I don't so I didn't just, know that. Like I always had really bad allergies during April in Texas. So people thought I was like smoking weed for 420 and I was like an anaphylactic shock. <laughs> like my <laughs> eyes were like this because I was like, yeah, I'm high as shit. I'm like hay fever is like <laughs> closing my lungs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, Jack, anyways, if you Jack. can't think of a piece of advice, which I also can't, <laughs> hmm. you can tell us your favorite number or your fortune number. Maybe, I think 21. Awesome. 21's awesome. I think for advice. Yeah, uh, he had advice ready. Sorry, I was just... This is not a math podcast. Uh, I think we're in my life. I try to like seek, seek, um, hmm, what is the, what's the quote? Seek, it's like seek pain, not like, uh, what is that? It's like the Life starts at the edge of your comfort zone. That, that's a good yeah, one. That's, I, mean, I don't perfect. think that's what he meant at no. all, though. But it's okay. like, uh, I'll let you, what's that quote? Seek discomfort. Seek discomfort. Oh. That's oh. it. Not pain. Oh, yeah. That... Um, just because, like, I mean, when you seek comfort, you won't, like, you won't be, like, happy in the in the long run, but seeking discomfort. Like you feel like, I don't know, a lot happier. Like it's like taking cold showers or like doing something that like you're not used to yeah. doing. It makes you so much happier, you we know? We're just talking about that truly. Right before really? you walked in. Yeah. Life oh, starts at the edge of your comfort zone. Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah, same, same like type of quote. But unfortunately, both of us don't want to be in a situation where we're uncomfortable for even 10 seconds. Yeah. No, I totally agree. And like, I don't want to. Sometimes t- you have to be. I don't want to turn the showers like freezing cold. Like yeah. that's like, there's no point when you can like just feel like 
so much comfort with like the warm water. Mm-hmm. I can feel good but, now. Right. But yeah. also like thinking in the back of your mind, like, am I going to feel better like or like happier if I turn it all the way to cold right now? It's like, it's like being um, selfless to your future self, you know? If that makes sense. Okay, and yeah. that's where we leave it. That is that was good. Be selfless to your future self. Yeah. That being said, you'll never be Robert from jury duty, so don't even try. Ronald. Ronald. <laughs> Ronald. That's what I was thinking the whole time. I'm like, a cold shower isn't gonna turn me into like six foot six gym of a human, you know? So True. what's the point? Yeah, like how much can it do? No, I agree. Yeah. yeah. If but- it transformed me into his build and personality, I so I'd do it. I'd leave the studio now and go do it. I think you're just as amazing as Ronald. I was fishing for compliments, so you nailed it. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Thank you so much for coming on the pod. Everybody, Jack Wright. Woo! You know where to Thank find you, I would Jack. I, are you you got any projects you're working on that you want to tell everybody to check out, look out for? Or? Jack Wright on Instagram, Jack.Wright on TikTok. I didn't go to the Met Gala, but maybe soon. Maybe next year yeah. with you guys. Yeah. Say it out loud on the okay. face. Manifest I'm, it. I'm actually going to the Met Gala next year. So with you guys. Yeah. And it's going to be awesome. And I can't wait. We can't wait to see you there. Yes. I can't wait to see you there. You guys are so awesome. and You're, We you. love you. I would love, love to hang out with you guys more. You guys let's do it in Hawaii. Cool. Yes. In Hawaii. Let's do <laughs> okay, it. Okay. Perfect. I'm done. Okay. See you there. Thanks, we'll Jack. see all of you in the bonus. Should I walk out the door? Oh. Do you guys, I mean, is that like the thing? You don't have. We kind of. That, that door. Okay, I'm gonna walk. Yeah. Ahead. Go ahead. Bye, Jack. Thanks for coming. You totally. Could, yeah, you, whatever you. I mean, do you like the cup? You can take the cup. Like those pants, Jack. So good pants. Of course. I love them as well. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. Uh, love you. Love you, Jack. All right, thank you guys for listening. I think we got a little bit of a extended episode today, mm-hmm. and we'll see you in the bonus. At Close friends. Bye. This week on Close Friends. Uh, this is why I don't like this game because it's like I tell I'm telling you like when I play putt putt, if I mess up a hole, I have to break the club over my right. knee. It Let- stops being fun so fast. I, and I'm not like a push through, power through. You got this. I'm not. I'm a, I give up or I. Oh, I know what it is. Oh no, I don't. I accidentally this weekend called someone baby. It was a girl that I'm like not close friends with, and I I like absolutely panicked. I would go to jail I- if I went up to a Starbucks priest and said, "Hey, baby, jail." Yeah, well, female privilege. Are you going to bald? I don't think so. Why do you say that? I'm just curious. Also, I think that you get that from your mom. It's your mom's. Yeah, but it doesn't apply to the girls, right? you get your penis size from your mom? Sorry, Izzy. (laughs) Sign up on TMGstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.